Okay, so um, I want to walk you through the process of gathering data and then cleaning it and then beginning to build a dashboard. Now, in order to do a project like this from start to finish, you're gonna to wanna to take some time to think about what you need. Okay, so gathering data is really complicated. Uh, in some cases, you'll be given data, right? Like you've been given with the Superstore, right, in the world, indicators data. Um, but in a lot of other cases, you're gonna to have to determine the data that you need and then follow that process through to creating your final product. So what exactly <laughs> does that look like? As we saw in class, it's messy, um, but that's an important piece of information to keep in mind. So let's say that I have been given this task. I've been tasked with creating a dashboard that correlates Arlington school efficacy um, with other measures like wealth and race. Okay. So that's my goal. I ultimately want to create a dashboard that's gonna be informative for my stakeholders, for instance, um, advocates for economic equality, or school board members, or people interested in real estate and where should I live, okay, um, to get the best uh, to get the best chances for my child, and so on. Um, so I've been tasked ultimately with creating this dashboard that's going to correlate Arlington School efficacy somehow with measures of other uh, with other measures that are um, sort of correlated in, in 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 principle, right? Like wealth and race. Okay? So how exactly do I go about this? One of the very first things that I'm going to need to do is think. Okay? This is a super important and underrated part of the process. I'm going to think about the data that I'm going to need. Okay. What kind of information will I need for this project and what might that entail? I'm probably going to want to map my data somehow, maybe by school or at least by zip code, right? so I can sort of see which schools are in the area that I'm looking at. I'm probably going to need data on student assessments by school in Arlington. That's pretty obvious. But I'm also gonna need a list of schools in Arlington in a format that I can map. So that means I'm gonna need school addresses and probably GIS or you know other location data. So I'm gonna need somehow to get a list of schools in Arlington that have the ability to be mapped. And then finally, I'm gonna need data on wealth. I could go um, you know, to the Census Bureau maybe and find income data by zip code, um, but you know, maybe I'm interested in something uh, that's a little bit more far reaching, like the assessed value of homes in Arlington County, because anybody who lives in Arlington County knows that buying a house in Arlington is super, super challenging. The assessment values are really, really high. Uh, and, um, and maybe that would be a more, um, user-friendly or at least more valuable um, form of, of uh, an indicator. Now, it's, this is up to you, right, um, and your team, your, what your boss is looking for, and so on. Um, I have lots of freedom here, so I'm going to look for the assessed value of homes in Arlington County. All right, so this is what I'm going to need to find. Um, let's go out and find it. Right? Let's find our data. So one of the things I'm going to need to do to create my final data set, the data set that I'm, I'm going to want to work with on my, my larger project on Arlington County that um, includes information like housing assessments, um, you know, the cost of houses, not the sale price, but the, the, cost, the assessed um, value of homes in Arlington. Um, and the relationship between that and, and educational outcomes uh, is the educational outcomes. I'm going to need to find data that is uh, downloadable, that's, gonna, that's valid, that's reliable, that's going to show me um, where students in Arlington are, um, educationally speaking. 
Uh, so I know from other work that I've done and other other you know investigations I've 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 done um, that I'm going to look for standards of learning SOL pass rates. Okay, so I did a quick search for something like this Department of Education SOL passage rates or pass rates. I might want to add in Virginia there. Uh, but one of the first things that came up for me was this VDOE SOL pass rates and other results. Um, I know that VDOE is the Virginia Department of Education. I look at this, I see Department of Education at virginia.gov, statistics, reports. Okay, so this is probably something that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into this. Oh gosh, this looks really complicated. Okay, let me take some time and see what I have here. So test results, statewide results. Well, I don't want statewide results. I really want by county. So let me see if, oh, okay. I see VDOE provides an online data tool for the creation of customized reports. All right, so this is what I'm looking for. I want to find, I want to find a report that I can download, ideally in an Excel or a CSV format, a spreadsheet of some sort that um, gives details about performance of students on state assessments. All right, so this looks promising. I'm gonna click into this, SOL test results. Okay, it wants me to tell them that I'm not a robot. I also noticed that it's, it's this build a table tool. That's something that will be useful for you to look for, right? Building a table, creating your own table, creating a custom report of data um, in these open data portals and so on. So I'm gonna proceed. Okay, now I have another thing um, that I'm gonna have to read through and make sure that I know what I'm getting. All right, so include standard learning test scores, other assessments. Okay, use the menus below. Results will be displayed at the bottom of the page. Okay, I've got this option to select school year and report level, student characteristics. Oh, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, okay, so I'm going to select school years. Uh, let's just do, um, let's maybe try to avoid COVID. We, we could avoid COVID. Well, let me just do, let me just select a few school years and then I can, I can filter them out later. Okay, I want to get the specific schools. So this new thing is opened up. All right, so I want, I don't want all divisions. I want Arlington. So there's Arlington, but I do want all schools. Okay, select student characteristics. I think I want all races, all genders. And uh, let me just do, I'll just do all grades just to you know be on the safe side. Reporting characteristics, uh, reporting categories. I definitely am interested in this issue of disadvantaged students versus non-disadvantaged students. This is interesting, English learners. Maybe I'll click that as well. Um, some other things for you to consider. All right, grade levels. Um, maybe I just want to do all grade levels. I want it to be aggregated, so we'll see. Um, I'm interested in standard of learning. I'm interested in reading, English reading, and so on. Okay, um, and I'm really interested in pass rate, so now let me submit this. This process, by the way, takes time, um, So, and it's highly individualized. Notice that it is working, it's downloading. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't happen immediately. Okay, so it says it's downloaded everything. Let me just check and see what it looks like. Okay, it doesn't look like it's got the information about characteristics, student characteristics. Okay, so I'm not sure why that's the case. Let me try a different way. Let me select it like this, right? And let's see if that, if that works, maybe. And let's do female and male, or let's do all genders. Okay, let's try this and see what happens. A lot of it is gonna be trial and error as you're finding your data because there is no one universal portal for all data, okay? <laughs> and this is part of the reason that we had some challenges last class. All right, let me see if this worked. Okay, this is a little better. It's giving me race. It's not giving me gender, um, which I kind of want. So let me go ahead and also grab all gender. Is it giving me all grades or was, it looks like it's giving me by school, pass rate by school. That's fine. That's that's really all I'm looking for. 
Um, but I do also want disadvantaged, this issue of disadvantaged students. Um, I'm kind of interested in if it's an English, if these are English learner students as well. Um, but let me just bracket that for a moment. All right, let me go back and submit. It's working. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, good. So this is what I'm looking for. I've got the data that I that I need. I've got um, school information about school year. I don't really need it. This stuff about division number, or division name. I don't really need all this stuff, but it comes with the data. I'm interested in the school names. Um, I'm interested in race. This is English reading SOL, which is what I was kind of I'm interested in. It's going to be my sort of benchmarker. Um, and I've got information on race, gender, economic disadvantage, uh, status, and pass rate. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and download this. This looks familiar. I've got this nice CSV download link. So I'm going to click that. And it's working again up here. So it's going to take a little bit of time to package all of this stuff up for me and put it into a CSV. Do, do, do. Okay, here we go. Assessment statistics. I'm going to save it here. Let me put it in assessments.vdoe because um, I want to let me make it final because this is the one I want to use. Save it. All right. So now I've got this in CSV format. Um, so I'm I'm getting you know, I'm getting there. I've got um, my assessments. Um, I'm going to need a few other things uh, as I work on this project. And remember what I want to do with this hypothetical project that we're going to sort of build a dashboard for is compare housing information, okay, to and particularly assessed value of housing in Arlington um, to school assessments. So I've got this part of my data set now um, and we'll move on. Okay, so one of the things I want to do to gather data for this project is find a list of schools in Arlington that includes the address of each, of each school. Um, I had a bit of a hard time finding this, so uh, I did a lot of web searching um, and finally, this search, list of schools by address in Arlington, came up, and I know that this APSVA is Arlington Public Schools, um, so I, this looks promising, so I went ahead and clicked it. Now, okay, here's a map of school locations. Well, I need to get this into a data format that I can use. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is take a look at this first. It's in Google Maps. Okay. Um, here's a little in. Okay. So it's showing me different kinds of schools. Okay. Map data. Da, 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 da. This list down here doesn't look like it's going to be useful because it's all links. What I need is the, is the information in this map. So how do I do that? Well, let's click this. I want to see the, the larger map which is going to take me to google.com maps. Okay, so this seems promising. Um, let me look and see what's going, what's going on here. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Um, download KML. So each data source that you work with may have a different, um, you know, file type associated with it. Maps will use KML files or shape or you know shape files um, that have the SHP um, file extension. Uh, there are lots of different data formats. Um, as you work on your final project for our class, you're going to be required to find data and um, you know clean it and merge it and work with it uh, in the manner that you are looking to do. So I'm going to download this. You'll learn about this, you know, sort of as you work on your project. Okay. Um, and you can always ask me if you have questions, but I see that this says download, so I'm going to download it. All right. 
I want, yes, to download the entire map, but let's just see the options. Oh, look, schoollocations.csv. That's helpful. Okay. So I actually, I don't know that I need to find, um, that I need everything, but uh, let's see how the CSV works because I know what a CSV file is. Okay. I'm going to click OK. All right. It's I'm not sure what this file format is, but, uh, but we'll download it. Okay, school locations. It's a KMZ file, which I believe is a, um, a version of KML. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. But hopefully now I've got the school locations. Um, it's saved in a weird way, but it identifies it as a KMZ file. So um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to open this in something like Excel. It doesn't look like it. Okay, this might be something that I can only open up in a map uh, tool. Okay. So um, I'm going to search for the rest of my data, uh, but hopefully now I have the school locations uh, by address. Right. And you can see that the data included in this has zip codes and everything that I would need to map this information over top of um, my other data. All right, so one other piece to my puzzle has to do with housing prices, the assessed value of houses in Arlington County. So I have done a quick search for Arlington Open Data. This is a really useful sort of model for searching for the open data platforms for different municipalities and locations. Um, every municipality will have something like this, and it's typically called an open data directory or an open data repository, and so on. Uh, make sure you're not looking at Texas, all right, Arlington, um, or the Massachusetts Arlington, right? but you wanna look at Arlington, Virginia. So here's the open data directory for Arlington. Okay, and it says up here, right, Arlington County Open Data Portal, one-stop shop for ready-use um, data about Arlington. So it gives you some recently updated things here, some data insights, um, open data showcase. This is incidentally something you can submit to. Um, you can share your maps and, and uh, whatnot that have been created using their data. Uh, so I'm going to go to the search. Um, I, what I'm looking for are um, assessed values of homes. So uh, let me try something like assessment. Okay. All right, assessment, payments, mixed use, assessment. All right, let's see here. All right, assessment. So I notice that there is a category here called real estate. Let me click that and just see if there's anything else that, okay, collection of data sets related to real estate. Let me see if there's anything else related to what I'm looking for. Property, property redivision, property class, mixed use assessed property address. Okay, here's a property address information, which is probably gonna be useful to me. So I wanna kind of note that. Includes tax assessment, historical assessment information. That includes the annual tax assessment payment history. I'm, I'm not really interested in that. Um, let's take a look at this. All right, view all data. Uh, column details. Let me get an overview of this. Okay, so I've got this is this is these are the columns that are going to be in the uh, data set. Okay, um, assessment key, real estate property code, uh, assessment assessment dates. Okay, land value amount, total value amount. Okay, so this is what I'm interested in, land value and total value, all right. Um, just check detailed metadata, okay, data views. It doesn't give me a specific view, but I can download this data set. This is gonna be a pretty big data set, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and download it, but do remember that this is gonna be a big data set and it's telling me that it is sort of a zip file, all right? So I'm gonna download it. And, oh, it's in a text file, which is sort of weird, um, but that's fine. We'll see what it looks like. It's a gzip. Um, I'm going to save it into my dashboard data folder, and there it is. So it's downloading. 
Uh, it didn't take too long to download, um, but now I'm going to take a peek at it because I want to know what's going on with it. All right, let me open this up. I'm going to have to unzip it. I think I can just double click it and open it and it's unpacking it for me. All right, so yeah, it saved it as this test, this text file. Let me look at what that is. I'm going to open it up in my text edit file. Okay. Oh gosh, this looks fun. <laughs> I'm going to somehow have to get this into a format that I can work with, which needs to be um, a spreadsheet of some sort. All right, it looks like it's separated by this um, pipe sign. Okay, that's what it is. So, so where comma separated data is separated by a comma, tab separated data is separated by a tab, this looks like it's sort of pipe separated data. So I should be able to work with this, all right? What I'm gonna have to do is use this, this knowledge, right, of how this data set is set up to help me clean it and make it ready, all right? But now I've got it, it's, an, it's a text file, which is not ideal, but, but I can work with this. All right, so that's good. Um, and now what I want to do is, I believe, get the final piece to my puzzle, which is uh, address data. So let me go back to my Arlington Open Data page, and I wanna go back to real estate. And you'll notice that it, it will sort of tell you, right? Um, it'll give you some information about that data set. Uh, so it was last updated 10 hours ago, which is pretty cool. It has over 2 million <laughs> records, which is a lot. I know I'm not going to need all of that data, but um, historical, uh, all properties identified by a, a real property code. Okay, associate with property table to obtain address. All right, so this is inf important information. But I've got my assessment data. Now I want to get the property address. So this is, can be associated with other by RPC. Okay, so property address. This data set includes a primary address, maybe additional data, blah, 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 number of records, okay. So this is much, much smaller. Um, but it will, it does say that it's got, it's got the RPC in it, which is the same thing up here. So I'm gonna need to associate these two files, okay, so that I can connect the assessment data to the property address. So I'm going to click into this, and again, it's a text file, which is really fun, but uh, let's take a look at the columns. Okay. It's going to have the RPC, okay, so that's important. That's what I'm, I'm going to need that. All right, it's got a lot of stuff in here um, that I'm not going to need, but it does have information about geography, which is great, so um, that's good to know. Really, what the only thing I want from this is the actual address, okay? Um, let me see if I can find that. It's got to be in here. Here we go. Physical address. Here we go. Um, and owner address, which is not necessarily the same thing, but street name number. Okay. All right. So it has the address information, which is what I'm looking for. I may need to take a little bit of time to look at this um, in more detail, but it doesn't give me any nice simple data view, um, but it does allow me to download this data set. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Ah, oh, it says right here if you hover over it. File is pipe delimited, okay? Um, so you wanna use pipe as the delimiter and that will transform it into a CSV or, or an Excel, some kind of a spreadsheet. And I'll show you how to do that again every data set is different okay so i'm going to download the data set property address let me just clarify that this is arlington but i should know that um and i'm going to save it all right it's saving it as text file all right so now i've got the last piece of my puzzle so remember our larger project i have been tasked with creating so let's remember our larger project, okay? I've been tasked with creating a dashboard that correlates Arlington School efficacy, particularly in terms of test scores. Um, I could look at other indicators of efficacy, but for the purposes of this project, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm gonna correlate Arlington School efficacy with other measures that uh, help me understand um, you know, the nature of that efficacy. Does it have anything to do with race and wealth? So 
how do I go about this? Right. First, I need to think about the data that I needed, um, which I did. Uh, then we went and we found our data. Okay. And the next thing we need we need to do is clean that data. So now that I've got my data, I'm going to need to clean it. And that means getting it into a tidy, usable format. Remember that I have four or five different data sets. Okay? I'm going to need to possibly normalize some column headers, format the data um, so that it, it, the, the numbers and the, the strings sort of mean what they are supposed to mean. Um, and then I might need to merge different data sets to relate them to one another. Okay? Uh, there are other things that you may need to do, and this is a highly individualized process, as you can tell. So um, I want you to be aware of some of the pitfalls, but also why this is valuable. So because the data that we have is in these different forms, we've got that KMZ file, which is um, geographical data. We've got some text files, um, and we, we do have some nice tidy CSV data as well from the Virginia Department of Education. But because we have this data in lots of different formats, we're going to have our work cut out for us. Okay, So uh, let's get started on cleaning our data.